Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and spending part of your Sunday with me. Happy Skincare Sunday. Today we're gonna to be talking about an ingredient that I've been asked a lot about lately and I have been doing a ton of research on. And it is called, I wanna say it correctly or at least as correctly as I think it is, it's pycnogenol, okay? And it's an ingredient that we're gonna kinda of deep in, get into and deep dive. And some claim it to be the fountain of youth, Others claim it to be really, really bad for the skin. So let's dig in and you can form your own opinion. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so we're doing ingredient breakdown. And this is always, these videos on ingredients are always just for your personal reference. So if you ever see them in the ingredients, you can know, okay, I know what those ingredients do, or I can, you know, I know that there's an antioxidant or whatever it is and that is what these videos are for. They're for you to start your own research and see if this is something that you want to add into your routine. So let's get into what pycnogeal, pycnogeal, however you say it, is. So what it is, is it's another name for, and I have all of my notes here, my computer's out, my notebook's out, um, is the name for an extract of French maritime pine bark. And that's also what you'll see when you see ingredients, is uh, maritime pine bark, or just pine bark. Um, it's used as a natural supplement for several conditions, including dry skin. Now, when you take it as a supplement, it's also been known to help diabetes, ADHD, um, chronic dry skin, things of that nature. Um, it contains active ingredients that can be found in the same as peanut skin, grape seed, and witch hazel bark. Pycnogenol provides many benefits to the skin, including reducing the signs of aging. There was a small study done in 2012 on postmenopausal women and found that this ingredient provided hydration or provided improved hydration and elasticity of skin. Um, basically, this is though where they took it as a supplement. So you'll see a lot of the studies done are as a supplement rather than actual topical skincare. Um, it has been studied for over 40 years and over 400 studies have been done on the supplement itself. So not necessarily applied topically. But there was a 2004 animal study, and I will put all these in the description box so you guys can read them, um, that also found that applying a gel containing this ingredient sped up wound healing um, and also reduced the size of scars. And there was a 2017 review done by the Journal of Clinical and Experimental Dermatology Research. And what they found is that they were trying to see the benefits of uh, this ingredient to reduce the effects on aging skin. And so from what I can see is I can't necessarily tell if this was applied topically or not. This is where it gets into this weird nitty gritty gray area is a lot of these studies are either internally or they are kind of vague on how the participants took these you know, this ingredient. But in this study, they did find that it helped to reduce the creation of um, free radicals, and it also helped to reduce wrinkles from UVA, I'm sorry, UVB rays, uh, decreasing skin's thickness, which is interesting, reduces skin's roughness, um, improving visible signs of aging, protects from UV rays, preventing inflammation, reducing redness, decreasing melasma areas, reducing pigmentation, uh, discoloration, preventing photo aging, I mean, and protecting against skin cancer. I mean, so the claims are kind of, you would think that this is like the most amazing ingredient ever, and, I, and it might be. I, I, there is just not enough studies that are done in a fashion that I would feel confident for you to say that this is exactly what this ingredient does. I'm just speaking from purely what I've read and what I've studied. Um, it is an antioxidant. That is what this ingredient is. So it does have the benefits of what those ad so what antioxidants do, which is protect the skin from free radicals, helps uh, even out skin tone, um, overall texture of the skin, things like that that we've talked about. 
Um, there actually Dr. Oz talked about it, but it was more on a supplementation. So if you guys might be thinking of taking this as a supplement, please consult your physician first before ordering this and using it um, internally. Uh, this needs to be definitely overseen by a, um, a physician. I've read a couple of studies that you should not be using this internally for long periods of time. It's something that needs to be taken for maybe a month or so, taken a break, and then taken again, etc. So it's just something interesting to note. So what else is interesting to note is that when you go to the Paula's Choice blog, and that's just some great information on um, solo ingredients. And these are obviously all about topically because she's a skincare brand. Um, it is an antioxidant, obviously plant-based, and the rating for her is best. It says an ex uh, it says um, that that it contain that this ingredient contains antioxidant rich compounds. Um, capable of complementing the benefits of daily sunscreen use, which is just like vitamin C. So maybe something for you to look into if you can't tolerate vitamin C. Uh, studies support the claim that pycnogel is a potent antioxidant that helps neutralize oxidative stress. Um, there is also a great deal of research backing uh, this ingredient as an oral supplement for its anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant benefits, and regeneration of skin's elasticity. And um, they have some references down here, and I will also link this in the description box so you guys can do um, some research in there. So do I feel that these are like double blind studies and all of this stuff? No, and there is, like I said, more research by taking it internally than rather um, applying it topically. But it looks like there might be some benefits of it. Now, when you Google this product, um, it comes up with the ordinary. They have an ordinary 5% of this ingredient, okay? It's a 5% of this ingredient. They tote it as a antioxidant. And when you look at all the reviews, some say it's amazing, and some say that it really broke them out. Um, from what I can see in the demonstrations online from um, Decium is that it's of a red consistency. Uh, it has a feels kind of a little bit kind of oily. Um, it definitely can be added to a moisturizer to buffer its effects because it seems to be a pretty strong formulation of it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have tried this, I would love to hear I almost ordered the product, but then the, some of the reviews kind of made me step back. It might be something that I might talk to my physician about and see if she thinks I should be able to take it internally and how that works. But we'll see. I'm already on so many supplements. I don't know about adding another one. Um, so that is kind of the one that comes up when you're looking for ingredient, this product line or a product with this ingredient in it. But there's some other ones that I want to pull your attention to, which I think look a little bit more approachable. And there is one by Skin Inc. And it's a supplement. Uh, it says Supplement Bar French Pine Bark Serum. And it is clear. And it looks to be, in my opinion, a little probably uh, less uh, impactful on the skin and maybe a good way. And something that's not so harsh. Um, there's also one by Derma E. They have a fantastic one, it looks like. The price point's really good. Uh, Derma E Sensitive Skin Moisturizing Cream with Pycnogenol in it. So that could be a really great, a great uh, maybe introductory to this ingredient. If we're looking for a good in, um, moisturizer, that might be one to go to for sure. Um, and then the Derma E se seems to use it quite a bit. There's also one from Eminence, which is called Eminence 8 Greens Youth Serum. That also has it in it. Um, and there's a few others that I noticed, but these are the ones that I kind of looked at the ingredients and found them to probably be the best formulation of the ingredient. There is another one by Clarins. If you guys have ever seen Clarins Double Serum uh, Hydric and Lip Lipidilic, Lipidilic System, Lipidilic? I never heard it say it like that. But anyway, it's a um, complete age control concentrate. It's a double, uh, double serum inside of here, and one of the serums has that ingredient in it. So it has been around for a long time. I don't think we hear a lot about it, but when you do Google the topic, it's like, why don't you hear about it? It's the most amazing thing in the whole entire world. Um, you know, that type of thing. So 
maybe do your own research, but this is my uh, kind of idea on it. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be running out to look for a uh, product with this ingredient in it because we already use so many amazing antioxidants that have a lot more, um, I don't know, maybe research by it. A lot more dermatologists suggest this, uh, like your vitamin C and your niacinamide and all of those things. So would you be looking for this ingredient? It might, who would this be good for? It might be good for people that have a hard time using vitamin C. I mean, it seems like it's a, from the studies I've seen, it seems like a pretty strong antioxidant, like a pretty quality one. If you have problems with vitamin C, maybe go in and look and see if this is for you. Um, I don't necessarily know though if I would go with the ordinary one. It doesn't seem, in my opinion, from the reviews to be like super amazing, but if you have tried it, please let the squad know. That's how we learn from each other. That's how I learn. Um, I would love to know if it's made a difference in your skin. I can't quite say how to use this ingredient because it's not, I don't know, it's not well studied or well, you know, developed into products. It might just be best to use it in a moisturizer. That might be a great way or a serum like we talked about. So let me know your thoughts on this. I am so glad to be able to break down this ingredient for you and I will see you all in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye loves.